in the country. So the neocons are saying, look, let's talk less about Russia. Let's talk more about China, because that is a better way to mobilize support for Ukraine. Of course, it's easy for them to do this because it's consistent with their original plan, which was to defeat Russia, break Russia, isolate China. So it's an easy thing for them to argue in the United States, and that is why they're doing it. It is incredibly cynical with respect to Ukraine, because, of course, what they're saying at the same time is that Ukraine is being sacrificed not for its own freedom or for its independence, but as part of some great chess game between the United States and China. So we should not overlook the cynicism of this as well. No, these, these are how psychopaths think. I mean, I was going to say the same thing Absolutely. with the chessboard. It's, it's what we've been saying for a while now with the neocons. Everything is a yeah. big chessboard. And, and here they are now talking about how you have to damage Russia in order to deter China. We're starting to hear the, the narrative about the 3% military spend for 50% destruction of the yeah. Russian military. That's gaining a lot of traction as well. They're, they're obviously trying to sell the, the American people uh, a package of, of a long war as well as a year and a half of, of spending, investment success. In, in this long war between exactly. China and Russia. And I'm just wondering, can you tie this into the Blinken Doctrine? Does this somehow tie into this, absolutely. this war also, between China and Russia? Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, for Blinken, you know, Blinken is, of course, a neocon, an arch neocon. It is absolutely the fact that China is the great adversary. He said that very, very clearly. But, of course, for him also... As an original neocon, confront, confronting Russia now is part of the greater confrontation with China and, of course, supporting Ukraine or in whatever way one can is also part of that confrontation. And that's where all those will. Uh, so uh, this is a book of uh, Jeremy uh, 50 in verse 23. It reads. How is the harm of the Huesh cut your sunder and the broken? How is the Babylon became a desolation among the nations? All praise and the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kadash, and Abuhana to the elder, and the apostles of the Commission who do well, a peace, a blessing, a salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this truth to the four ends of the heaven. And be on the forefront of this spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise and here on Yesia again as in the days of old. So this is a message against the neocon over there in Washington DC and which is actually a neocon stand for neoconservative or she a neoconservative another form of conservatives, man, in which uh, this uh, national security agency over there in Washington, D.C., uh, plus your mind as the Council of Foreign Relationship, which uh, as a, a true conservative of America, uh, they want uh, Russia broken and this is a form to uh, defy prophecy. Uh, that's why they are even telling you that China is a bigger threat than Russia, and which is just a lie, man. The scripture even tell you uh, uh, this man is wiser than Daniel. They know that the destruction will come from, from, from Russia. Uh, but they are trying to spin it and say, man, uh, China is the biggest uh, uh, a strategic enemy out of there, man. No, Russia is. That's why they want Russia broken. They want Russia demoralized. They want Russia cancelled. It goes back to cancel culture. 
you see council conservative uh, because it's going into the new world the order they don't want uh, she nationalistic people people who are about their country is that's why even america will be declared the biggest war zone on the planet yes man because they want to cancel you american man uh, and eventually this will lead to the corruption of of america because america will lose a lot of friend a lot of allies in which he, the only option the most i will do it uh, in a way is that the only option left for america is to go to war against Russia, and that will be done very strategically. Uh, you see, very strategically, uh, in a sense that there won't be any room for maneuver uh, on the political uh, grand scheme of things for America, except for war. I see. Let's continue. I have laid a snare for thee. I see the scripture are speaking. So the Moshe will lay a snare uh, in which he, he will leave one leeway for America. That leeway will be war. Uh, when you go and start the art of war, you see, and uh, you study about uh, one among the famous quotation of, of Sun Tzu. He say you need to beat your enemy and leave him a way to escape, you uh, see. Don't corner your enemy to the point that he fight back. Leave a leeway. Leave an escape route. The same thing with Hannibal, man. You see, when you go to the war strategies of Hannibal, a, a famously known as the pincer movement, the pincer, when you put your enemy in a pincer, that's aimed to leave a, a, an escape route for your enemy, man. You see? As a pincer movement, your double hole information, whatever it is, the same way for America. You see, America will be taken in a pincer movement with the Lord, man, and though at also taken. Of Babylon, though was not aware, though at found the court because though he's striving against the law, that's what it is, uh, trying to uh, cheat their way against prophecy. Always he shall have done that, man. They wanna usher in the 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 what you see the way they want, not the way the scripture want it to be, which that ain't gonna happen because they want to make China the biggest enemy instead of Russia, man. She in the other way, if you are not getting me, let's go to the book of Ezekiel. They want China to be. The head of this alliance is the Gog and Magog alliance. They want to make China Gog and Magog. Is the case at 80? And that's why I said, the, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach, and to point and prophesy against him. So they want Gog, Gog and Magog to be China. That's why you have people, <laughs> people in the know, people who subscribe themselves to be Hebrew Israelite, they say that uh, 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 China, the Chinese, and the Japanese are, 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 are Japhetite, which is such, such, such a lie. You see, <laughs> that's a lie, man. <laughs> so let me finish with you on the scripture. Wow, well, the famous scripture. This is Isaiah 14, I started verse 4, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How? As the oppressor sees thee, as the golden seed sees thee. The Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yashai, have broken the staff of the wicked, and the sept of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath, we see continue through is that lulled the nation young is persecuted and unhindered, the whole race is at least, and is quite the break force into singing. You see? So that, that was going to the destruction uh, of the power structure for Isa Widom, uh, starting with his military, uh, which is based upon Washington, D.C., 
is the financial structure and his philosophy and that will render the elite powerless I see the end target as the elite of which we do so which is that essential one I hope your brothers will identify it on to the next